go ahead. Hey guys, Wolverine's here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Crystal. Why is my sound not on? Oh, okay, there it goes. So yeah, in the last episode, we defeated Erica. And we were at the power plant from Celadon City. A thief broke into the power plant. Where is the world coming to? A lot of things. The power plane has been abandoned in the past. We got it back up and running to provide power to the magnet train. Yeah, but you'll take a lot of power. Someone made off with a part that's essential for the generator. Without it, the new generator is useless. That happens. I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Doug Drio? Uh, no. The magnet train consumes a lot of electricity. It can't move if the new generator isn't operating. Oh fuck. A lot of electricity. Man, that means taxes and saffron's gonna be crazy. The power plant's manager is up ahead. But since someone wrecked the generator, he's been both sad and furious. That's normal. I I I'm ready to blast someone. Who would dare ruin my generator? We spent so much time on it. If I catch him, he's gonna get a taste of my zap cannon. Oh shit. <coughs> I just got word from Cerulean. It appears that a shady character has been lo loitering around. Could I ask you for your cooperation? Certainly. Certainly. So someone's fucking with the generator. Well, oh, that's not a good thing. Oh man, I took horse off. I took I'm um, not horse, but um, goddamn Ventfolnir off the team, and he's my flyer, which means I'm gonna have to run all the way back. Cool. There. Cut the tree. There. Oops. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. You not hurt, okay? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by any somebody. Oh, no. You already... You seen me already. I made big mistake. Hey, you, forget you see me, okay? You see, here, no nothing. Okay? Bye, kid, nothing. Bye bye, and go go. Oh my god. Why do you talk like that? I think this, like, it's Team Rocket member, but I think he's, like, from a different country, so he's very foreign. Hey kid, me am a team market member, kinda guy. Come from another country, a trainer number one me. Think I did? If stop the energy, be big panic for here people. Secret it is my mission, so tell you I not. But if when you do versus me, and be me and mine secret to tell I you. Hey kid, battle, begin we do. Oh god. This guy's hurting my head. You like those cookies? Mm -hmm. He's making my head hurt. Like, oh my god. My brain. Aye, no, no, no. Believe it, I can't. Strong, very much be you. Match, I am not to you. Oh my god. Okay, tell you mine secret, I will. Machine parts steal by me. Hide it in, dig, and gym of cerulean. Inside water, put I dig. Look for in water center of gym at. But you forget me not. Be you for sure, will team rocket. 
come from Jodid, will they? Mine friends, yes. Well, revenge they are. You say what? Team Rocket, bye bye. Hey, go go. Broke it. It says you. Oh no. Should I do what now on from me? Okay. So, if I could translate broken fucking retarded English, he stuck it in the water of the Cerulean Gym. Who the fuck sticks a generator in water? Oh man, I really don't want to tell this guy. He's going to be so pissed that his generator has waterlogged. I mean, I'd be pissed if my generator was waterlogged. Okay, apparently there's nothing this way. That got all blocked up and destroyed or something. And apparently there's a potion in this tree. I have like 28 hyper potions. You're gonna give me a potion? Beat the six of us trainers to win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Is it a nugget? Oh, is it a nugget? I hope it's a nugget. Schoolboy Dudley. Did you say Dudley? Yeah. There's one. Not sponsored. Okay. Yep. I've destroyed you. Ooh, good stuff. Thanks, kid in gym shorts that look like um, a diaper for some reason. I'm second. Now it's serious. If you say so, woman. If you say so. Lass, Ellen. And damn, is your skirt short. You need to get a longer skirt. You're probably still in school. Come on, have some respect. Are you trying to grow up to be a hooker? Good job, Hathor. A gramble. Oh, excuse me. You're excused. So, I've literally stomped on all your Pokemon. Literally stomped. How could I lose? Uh, getting stomped on by a fat ass cow? I don't know. Here's number three. It won't be easy. I like how they say it won't be easy, but it's easy. Yeah. Joe. My cat has keys of all Yeah. Nice. But I like that too. It's like, it's not gonna be easy. Easy. I love it. I don't know if it's because I've overtrained or because like I'm the champion now. Vaporeon. And this is what I Oh my god, this is what I don't like. I got Metapod now. That's good. <coughs> this is seriously what I don't like. Oh, stomped flat. Literally. I'm number four, getting tired. No, not at all, actually. Actually, I'm quite disappointed. Just kind of hoping more of a challenge. But, no. I have a It happens. Pidgeotto. And bless him. And I stomped all over bless him. And we defeated last Laura. I lost two. 
Yeah. You did. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. Okay, for the record, I'm gonna stomp you both metaphorically and literally. Because my milk tank knows stomp, and that's all I'm using is stomp. So I'm literally stomping all their Pokemon. This might take two stomps. Never mind, just one. Just one. Uh -huh. Whoa, too much. I'm the last in line, but I tell you I'm tough. Well, think about it this way. The Elite Four was in the f high 40s. 49s, 48s. These Pokemon trainers are in the 30s. I mean, Johto is more of a challenge than this. This is just ridiculous. Okay. Stomping everyone and everything. Maybe I am a little too overpowered. But all I did was level up my Pokemon 3 more than the champion. The champion's 47, all I did was round out the team to 50 before I fought him. It's just ridiculous. This is ridiculous, guys. Woo -foo, foo foo I have nothing to do with the six-pack trainers. I waited here to beat you when you were tired out by all the battles. Oh no. What am I gonna do? My life is now destroyed. No, Super Nerd Pat. Don't use your Porygon. Oh, so uh, this is so dangerous. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hathor, is this stomp gonna do it? Of course it is. And we defeated Super Nerd Pat. Aren't you tired at all? My cow is a boss. Your cow. That's what it is. It's a cow. You took on one more battle than you expected, but you won anyway. As promised, you win a nugget. Yay, I get a nugget. You get a nugget. Nugget loves this. Nugget is your friend. But after seeing how you battle, I want to see how I'll flare. Or I'll fare. How about it? Let me take you on. Oh, Jesus, people. <coughs> Kevin. Kevin. Kevin has a right horn. Okay, Kevin. Let's see what you got. Can you handle a stomp? Probably. Right horn are quite bulky. Oh shit, right horn knows stomp too. Let's see how many stomps it takes to defeat your right horn. It takes three stomps to defeat a level 38 right horn with Hathor. Interesting. Three. And he's got a Charmeleon. And I crushed Charmeleon's skull like a s great. Does he also have a Charizard? I don't know. He's got a third one. And he's got a War Tort. Wall form of Squirtle. I'm gonna turn you into Tootle Turtle Soup. And I defeated War Turtle in one hit. I've never had a battle this good. You're fighting the Johto League champion. That was a great battle. You and your Pokemon are truly outstanding. Thanks. Oh, who's this? Aw, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right, pest. Oh, those badges you have? Are they Johto Gym Badges? No. They're cookie shaped like badges, woman. You 
you have eight, you must be good. Okay then, come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. So apparently Misty was on a date. And I interrupted her date. Uh, you know Bill. He's my grandson. He's in jail now. He does something with PCs, so I'm house sitting. My grandson Bill told me about a Pokemon that has a long tongue. Gene Simmons? Not sponsored. <laughs> if you have that Pokemon, may I see it, please? Fuck you. If you don't have it, that's too bad. Okay. Look at tongue. I don't have lick a tongue. Even if I did, I wasn't gonna show him a lick a tongue. Okay. I see you too. Mm -hmm. There we go. Here's the machine part. So before we take on the gym, yes, which is yes, what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna run off real quick back to the power plant. Well, no, I might as well do it on the way there, because I'm going this way anyhow. So fuck it, let's take on the gym. First things first, let's heal up the Pokemon. Don't let my elegant swimming unnerve you. I don't know, woman. And again, it looks like you're not wearing a bikini bottom. You green hair slut. Mm -hmm. Is it like a shirt? No, it's an actual top and bottom bikini. But she's leaned forward so you can't see her bottom. Oh. So I don't even know if they're wearing a bottom. <laughs> Tathor is level 58. I use Hathor too much, but she's just too good. I would use Casper more, but Casper doesn't have a lot of good attacks right now. But you know what, we'll switch it up. Casper. We'll go to Umbra. Umbra. My Umbreon. I haven't used it in a while. Sorry about being away. Let's get on with it. I agree. I got time and places to be, woman. <clears throat> Diana. That's an elegant name. Diana. You fucker. Okay. Well... There goes Golduck, her only Pokemon. And we yeah, won. And I saw another part hey, in the damn ball. What are you yelling at over there? A Gilgar? Oh, she's trying to catch Gligar on Pokemon Go. I give up. You're the winner. Yeah, I am. I had to use a mask or a great ball to catch it. Glob, I'm first. Come and get me. Actually, you're third. You're probably supposed to be first, but I figured, Parker, I would take on the women first. Because, you know. Ladies first? I don't know. No, because he was on the right side. So I took the left. No, you went left to right. Yep. Just like you read a book. Well, Umbreon, you're just as powerful as my good old Hathor. Good job, Umbra. Now, can you knock out her this guy's Seedra in one hit? No. Well, two hits, fair enough. This can't be. It can be and it is. I was expecting you, you pest. 
You may have a lot of Jodo Gym Badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My Water-type Pokemon are tough. Bitch, please. I got a Gator that could eat all your Pokemon. You know what? No. That sounds like a good idea. What? Water against water, bitch. Try to beat my gator. And does water work against water? No. But he's got other moves. What? Your gold ball. Golduck just got taken down by my gator, and I raid Subek. And let's see here, Caswire, Casquire, Cagswire. With your dirt face and your amnesia and there goes Cagswire. Lapras. And Lapras took that very well, actually. Come on, get the crit. There you go, you got the crit. Yeah, my gator took three out of four. What are you gonna do now, bitch? So sound like someone. Fuck yeah! Oh shit, confusion. Come on. Don't hit yourself. You're you're trying to hit a star. Do you look like a star? Thank you. Yeah! And I got the crit. I just killed all your team with a fucking gator, bitch! You so sound like Vegeta right now. <laughs> From you dumb Dragon Ball Z bridge. Yeah! I don't even try to. You really are good. I'll admit that you're skilled. Here you go. It's... Oh my god, it's Cascade Badge. It's the Cascade Badge! This English, man. This fucking English. So broken. Is it the Diglett? No, it's a low pick. Are there many strong trainers in Johto? No, just me. Like you, I mean. I'm gonna travel one day, so I can battle some skilled trainers. Okay. I have you'll probably go there and get your, f and you'll be disappointed. I don't know. Your Pokemon are pretty weak, so yeah, there might be some tough trainers for you. I have the perfect girl for you. She could be your best friend. Her name's Whitney. How about you go battle her? Does she have fire? No. Yes. Normal. Mm. She's got a milk tank. There. Okay. Now we're in Rock Tunnel. Rock Tunnel. Use Flash. There. And so things don't get really annoying, we'll put a rappel on. Iron. Well, that could go on the PC because I ain't going to use that shit. A revive. Hey, free revive. A PP up. A power up? Yeah, it's like PowerPoint up. Increases how many times you can use a move. Aw, Diglett ran. Put on another repel. Let's see what else we got here. TM47. What's TM47? Still wing. Eh. An elixir. And, okay. So, Beck, how about you come out in the front? And Jim's got him a champ, huh? And we beat Jim.
You like Pokemon, don't you? Me too! No way! Okay. Oh, he's got a cast wire. Okay, I won. So, welcome to Lavender Town, guys. Legendary for what it used to have in the Kanto games as a go as a pokey graveyard. Repel is, necess is a necessity if you are going to explore a cave. Even though I like exploring, I still haven't made it to all the caves. Interesting. I heard about a craftsman who makes custom balls in the Jodaton of Azalea. I wish I had some. And yeah, they're not that good. So don't feel bad. You're not missing out. There's a radio program that plays pokey flute music. Oh? Ah, uh, your card needs an XBN card to tune in. Interesting. If the Pokemon pet the power plant isn't running, the Magna Train won't run either. It also means the radio station can't broadcast. Oh no, no broadcasts? How else is my mom gonna watch her cooking shows on the fucking radio? She sit there in front of the fucking nothing. Ugh. To the north of Lavender is a rock tunnel. Go through it to get to the power plant. Thanks, douchebag. I've already been there. And my rappel wore off. That's quite the some building, huh? It's Kanto's radio tower. Yes. How did you guys build that there? The Pokey Graveyard was once there. Many people are hard at work here in the radio tower. They must be doing their best to put on good shows. I guess. Welcome. Free for you to look around anywhere on this floor. This floor only? Oh, I know why. So we'll actually come back here and talk to everybody later. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I actually forgot one important detail. You need a Poke Flute to wake sleeping, sleeping Pokemon. Every trainer has to know that. Well, yeah. Mr. Fuji does live here, but he's not home now. He should be at the Soul House. Some cold-hearted people stop caring for their Pokemon. Grandpa takes in the poor homeless Pokemon and takes care of them. That's nice of Mr. Fuji. After what he did in the Pokemon movie, of course. Kanto has many good radio shows. Interesting. Lavender is a tiny quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It's gotten a bit busier since the radio tower was built. I can tell. Hello, hello. Oh, you're just a name reader. I don't give a fuck about you. People come from all over to pay their respects to the departed souls of Pokemon. I came with my mom to visit Pokemon Graves. I've come to pay my respects. There are other graves of Pokemon here, I think. There are many chambers that only Mr. Fuji may enter. Really? Interesting. The Pokemon that lived with me, I loved them like my grandchildren. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Welcome. Mm, you appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Pokemon lovers come here to pay their respects to departed Pokemon. Please offer condolences for the souls of the departed Pokemon. I'm sure that will make them happy. Well, what do I leave? Do I leave a potion or something? Like, maybe, I don't know, what do I... I can't just leave anything here. I wish I knew what I should have left. Maybe I'll look that up and see if there's something I could leave. For now, I do remember we need to do something that I forgot to do. That we are going to do real quick before I end the episode. Or... Yes, I did. 
a um, only human. Well, Wyvern. Anyways, we got to go back to Cerulean. Not yep, Cerulean City. Wait. Um, let's go back to Lavender Town, because I can feed just back through the cave, and that shouldn't take too long. It will, because I don't have Flash. Where's Flash? I'm actually going to give it to Umbra. It will take rid of Sand Attack, and now I have Flash. I'll use Flash. Uh, get a Super Repel on the go. Okay. go. Now we want to go back up through here. There. Come back to the power plant. And give the generator to the old manager. Oh yeah! That's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it? Ha ha! Thanks! Here, take this team as a reward. TM07 is my zap cannon. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallow. That's true. It's very inaccurate, but very powerful indeed. And what we're going to do here is set another super repel. Let me go ahead and speed. Let's go ahead and speed back to Lavender Town. And then we could go ahead and talk to everybody in the radio tower. Haunters? Interesting. There. Back in the radio tower. Ah, oh, so you're the Wyvern who solved the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. And the XPN card. Nice. With that, you can tune into the radio programs here in Kanto. Go ha ha ha. Hey there. I'm the super music director. I'm responsible for the gorgeous melodies that go out over the air. Don't be square. Grab your music off the air. I, that's actually kind of catchy. I respect that. So we're going to end the, videos, the end of video here, guys. In the next episode, we'll go over to the left, beat the trainers there, and then go back down south and beat the trainers down there. But for now, this is the way we're signing out. Later, guys.